Are you looking for the best multicolor 3D printers? In this video, we will look at some of the 5 best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. GTEC A20M. GTEC has a couple of different 3D printers on the market, and I found the A20M to be its best option for multicolor 3D printing. Given that the field is still highly experimental, the A20M doesn't cost much, which is an immediate bonus. In fact for any reliable dual extruder, the A20M is still a great price. It's also blessedly easy to set up, and the dual extrusion 3D printing technology tends to work well. But the real reason I loved this 3D printer was its ability to push the envelope on color mixing. You really don't see this very much in personal 3D printers, and it's completely unheard of at this price point. With the GTEC, you can expect to print in two distinct colors, striping or the like, or even mix and slash or grade your colors, allowing for a full spectrum of shades and hues. Number 2. Lotmax Shark V3. The upgraded version of the Lotmax Shark V2 brings new features to the table, and they're good. It has improved laser engraving capabilities yielding finely detailed engravings and an overall sturdier frame and design with improved cable management. It's also much quieter than its predecessor, which will save you some hearing damage as a long-suffering 3D printer user. Oh, those stepper motors, the V3 comes with smart G-sensor auto-leveling, the G stands for gravity. This helps you get accurate and super precise leveling that will stay in place for a long time. Nice! It also has a resume print function in case of electricity outages or other interruptions, as well as a filament detection sensor to alert you when the filament has run out. This printer is compatible with PLA, PLA+, and ABS filaments. For laser engraving, it's compatible with bamboo, leather, wood, ceramic tile, and craft paper. It has a build volume of 235 by 235 by 265 mm and is equipped with ultra-silent TMC2208 stepper drivers. This printer comes with dual-color switching extruders and yields beautifully colored prints. We loved our test prints, they came out very clean and the colors were perfect. This printer can be used with the default Lotmax slicer, as well as Cura and Simplify 3D. It supports microSD and USB connection. Number 3. Tenlog TLD3 Pro. The Tenlog TLD3 Pros has two extruders and two nozzles. It means that you can print two identical items simultaneously in two distinct colors. You can also print in mirror mode and print in two different materials. It seems like a pretty simple adaptation of the popular, and increasingly affordable, dual extruder design. Without delving too far into the enormous potential of this function, try out different colors, double up on your creation rate, etc., this is something I expect a lot of other 3D printers to be adopting soon. But just as easily, these two nozzles can be used on the same product, either filling in a support filament or going for the multicolor approach. It almost feels unfair constraining this 3D printer to a list like this, all thanks to its Swiss Army knife-like variety of functions and capabilities. How long does it take to assemble? The D3 Pro comes half-assembled and it took me 30 minutes to put it together with the help of videos online. What I didn't like was the printer didn't come with a lot of instructions. The printer is not dead silent and there's a low humming noise from the fans. However, it's noticeably quieter than my Ender 3 Pro. The prints so far are very good and I have better results with custom STL files than the test files from Tenlog. There are cheaper dual-color slash extruder 3D printers out there but this is the most affordable independent dual extruder IDX 3D printer today. Number 4. Chidi Tech iFast. The Chidi Tech iFast is an industrial and engineering grade that's much more affordable than other printers of its caliber. With a super spacious build volume of 330 by 250 by 320 mm, you can make a whole lot of medium to large sized objects. It has inbuilt air filters providing thorough ventilation, which makes it ideal for indoor use. This printer can print PLA, ABS, TPU, PTG, nylon, carbon fiber, and water-soluble PVA for supports. It also has a double Z-axis for double the precision. 
Okay, that sounded right out of an infomercial. Anyway. It's still true. The Chidi Tech iFast comes with a whopping four direct extruders. That's two extruders for normal temperature filaments like PLA and two high temp extruders for nylon and other toasty materials. This printer also comes with a removable build plate for easy part removal. It has a filament runout sensor to detect when filament, well, runs out, and it's also got a camera for remote viewing of your print. We love the large touchscreen, it helped us easily navigate controls and get set up quickly. The printer also has Wi-Fi capabilities so you can easily send your print file. It also comes with a heated enclosure which is perfect for higher temp filaments like ASA, nylon, and PBS. We found that the stepper drivers were a bit noisy when using this printer. Also, this printer is only compatible with Chidi's own software, which isn't as robust as say, Cura or Simplify 3D. Also, it doesn't come with auto bed leveling but with a sturdy printer of this type, it's not that necessary. This printer also comes with a 2-year guarantee and round-the-clock tech support. If you're a pro who wants a mid-range printer with high-end capabilities, go for the Chidi Tech iFast. Number 5. Flashforge Creator Pro 2. The Pro 2 offers cool new features, namely, a mirror mode where you can print two of the same object at once. Crazy! It also has an improved dual extrusion system with only one nozzle. This grants it more flexibility and ease of use than the original Pro design. And it's got a dandy 3.5 touchscreen which the Pro doesn't have. The Pro, however, has a larger build volume at 227 by 148 by 150 mm and is cheaper than the Pro 2. The Pro 2 has a slower build speed at 10-100 mm s unlike the Pro's 30-200 mm s. They both come with 0.4 mm nozzles and have a maximum temperature of 240 degrees Celsius. If you're on a budget and or want a slightly larger printer, go for the Pro. If you want a better dual-color printer, the Pro 2 is definitely it. The Pro 2 has a build volume of 200 by 148 by 150 mm and offers four printing modes, mirror, duplicate, dual filament and dual color. And with a one-year warranty and lifetime technical assistance, the FlashForge team really have got your back.